Hi, this is Paula Asher, and I'm going to talk to you about how to back up and reset your Moodle class for next term. The first thing I'm going to do is back up the course. Now, I taught this class, Moodle Training for Instructors, in spring 2009, and I'm going to back up the course after the course was, has, it's finished, so I'm going to back it up now. Now, when I go into the backup screen, you can see that it gives me the options. I can get rid of all of the the assignments. I usually don't want to. Most people do, usually don't want to do that because this is all the work that you've done to develop the course. Um, also, usually we want to keep all of the user data. We want to see, uh, especially if you have students that potentially could say question a grade in the future you want to have all the the user data there as well or sometimes people use uh, a Moodle shell for meetings or department um, correspondence and so you might want to keep all of the forums all of the input that users have in the course so that's why you can see here all the user data is checked now um, also, you will want to uh, make sure that grade histories is checked as yes, so that if um, you want to look at student grades again, you can do that. You may not want to choose logs. Uh, that's, an that's the activity logs for all the users, but that's up to you. Um, and you can, uh, probably you only want to back up the role assignments as a teacher for the class. Okay, I'm going to hit continue. And this is giving me the information about the, um, the name of the backup zip file and all of the information that was there in the class. And I'm going to continue. Okay, so now it's giving me uh, this zip file which will be available to me in the future if I should need it. Now one thing I'd like to say is if you want to unzip this file at some time in the future I would advise you to talk to either Ron Watrous or Rob Kovacic about that. Um, what you would do is restore the class uh, and choose that zip file but you, you want to keep in mind that you if you restore it into a current class you you know it could get a little complex if if the you, you may end up with a lot more data than you want so it's good to be cautious about that and ask for some help when you go if you need to restore the class in the future now here's a really important point you've already backed up your course but you want to save that file somewhere where you always have it so you can go to files to find the the, the zipped backup file and then backup data and then to save the course to your hard drive actually click on the zip file and it will give you the option in the case of Firefox you can open it you probably don't want to do that but you do want to save it to your hard drive and if you use Firefox it will save it right to your desktop and then Internet Explorer probably has um, you know a different um, a place that it will automatically download it to. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is reset the class um, because I, you know, I want every time you start a new term, you want to clean it out so that you're not having students from the last term in your class. You want to start afresh so that uh, it's a new class. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, uh, providing empty chairs in the classroom for your students. You want you, you, you don't want um, all the old stuff in there from, from past students. So what I do is I go in to reset. When I look at the reset course page, um, you see that this page allows you to empty a course of user data while retaining the activities and ever, e other settings. Please be warned by choosing the items below that you'll delete your user data. Now we've backed up the course so we're not too worried about that but we're gonna just delete all the all the entries, all the user data from from this course. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna delete all grades and uh, I don't use groups 
I'm going to delete all the submissions, messages, responses, delete all posts, um, forum subscriptions, quiz attempts, and now I can, as long as I'm sure that these are the things I want to get rid of as far as user data, I can hit reset course. Okay, now, so the course is reset, and um, I've backed it up, I've reset it. Now, of course, there's some other things that you'll want to look at as far as uh, getting ready for the new term. Of course, the syllabus always needs to be updated for the new term. Um, for instance, I'm going to, I taught this course in the, the spring of 2009. I'm going to update some of the information on the, the syllabus. Then the last thing that we want to do to get ready for the term is to make sure that we're ready to enroll students in the class. So I go to settings and then the first thing we'll look at is making sure that we're starting the course at the, on the right time so that that will realign the dates uh, for the course and I'm going to start this new class on July 6th um, and then uh, the other thing we want to make sure we want to make sure that the enrollment is set to no because we are manually enrolling students at CGCC Please also note that you should this this enrollment duration should be uh, set at unlimited. And we want to make sure, however, that the availability it is set to this course is available to students, because if it's set differently, then nobody will be able to see the course. Okay, so uh, I'm going to save changes to these settings. Also. Uh, one thing to be sure is we on the Moodle homepage we have emails for all instructors so um, make sure that you if you have a new email address that you email that to Rob Kovacic so that he has the correct email on our Moodle homepage. So now I've I've backed up my class I've reset the course to get rid of user data and all users from the class I've reset my syllabus and the dates for the course and I'm all ready to go for the term and what's going to happen is when uh, I'm going to for the first week of class you're going to want to check your roster every day maybe a couple times a day and add students according to the college roster to your class to do that you go into assign roles and to add students you want to pick student you just want to make sure that you're not adding them as teachers, of course. And then if you want to do a search on a student, you can put their, their uh, last name in here. And as you see, I've done a search for Ron Watrous. Now, if I hit this button, Show All, I would see all of the students that are available. I'm not showing that right now because of FERPA. But uh, to add a student, click on the name and you'll see it goes into the existing users category. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you, and if I can do anything to assist, please contact me.